What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ford Era. Today, I'm driving from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, up to Illinois. Why might you ask? Because we are trading our 1968 F100 Coyote swap truck for a, uh, a little bit different. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet. So uh, I've got like a 600 mile road trip to get there and uh, it's going to be a fun time. So right now I'm at the first fuel stop and uh, yeah, so we will uh, hit the road in a couple of minutes. Should be a good time. So enjoy all these montages. All right, everybody. So we're on the road. I hope you can hear me good. I'm recording with my iPhone because it's easier. Um, but Goldust is cruising. My EGTs are kind of high. I'm pretty sure I have a boost leak, but uh, we're going to send it and uh, hopefully everything's going to be fine. I'm going to be dropping off with that tailgate bench to Craig at No Spark. And he's a professional diesel tech. So uh, he said he'll look at it when I get there, but that's in like 600 miles or so. So right now we're cruising and uh, yeah, pray for it. Right now, I'm gonna do a little prayer and then hang out. Maybe, you know, grab a snack. Just got a rest, been driving for a couple hours. Then we're gonna keep going. Looks like uh, getting a nice bunch of people looking at it. So, yeah, that's a little update. So we just made it over to some part of Kentucky. We're at the Bucky's here. I think it's called Richmond, Kentucky. We're not too far outside of Lexington. And so far, everything's going great. Uh, truck's towing good. So I figured it was time to fuel up a little more since we're about to be on E. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go inside Bucky's, get some gifts for the wife and kids. But I saw this thing. Check this out. Chevy Green Bearer with some insane patina. Johnson's IV Lab S television sales radio and service. Beautiful. Sure is. Oh, I'm gonna go inside. We're still at Bucky's, but I pulled up in the parking lot and I uh, just did the math. I filled up 15 gallons. We have about 175 miles. So we're getting about 12 miles per gallon and uh, I'm super tired. So right now I'm going to uh, go take a nap and I'll pick you guys back up when I'm hitting the road again. All right, so I just got myself nice and comfy and here we are. Get the setup going. So I'm going to try to get a few hours and uh, get back on the road. Good morning, everybody. So there is the setup for the bed, and uh, we are all ready. So I'm going to go with the Bucky's, go to the bathroom, and then we're going to hit the road. So quick little update, we are about two and a half hours away and I'm doing the final fuel up now. She was a little thirsty and uh, yeah, so far everything's going good. Just, uh, just making good time actually. So hopefully I'm not jinxing anything here. We got some wood, so all right.
All right, so we just made it over here to Illinois, and I'm at a Subaru dealership for some reason. So uh, the main reason we're here is this truck right here, I sold slash traded for something that's in the uh, dealership next door. So right now we're unloading, and uh, then I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Here's pretty much our last view at Sandy. My former 1968 F100. So uh, this baby has We have a 50 Coyote under the hood, all American billet hood hinges. We use a lot of fat finger garage goodies like this. Uh, what else we got under the hood? Power by the hour stuff. Let's see. QA1 front and rear suspension, um, Fat Fender Garage door handles, Fat Fender Garage custom uh, door panels on both sides. They made the seat as well. Headliner, dash pad. We got Dakota digital gauges. Vintage air. I mean, this baby is done. More fat feather goodies, like this awesome fuel filler. So yeah, gonna take some last pictures and uh, go make a deal. I just unloaded the trucks and I realized that my hubcap fell off over here. It's the first time that's happened. I think we got extras. All right, it's on the trailer, all loaded down. And now to continue the rest of this trip. I am so freaking excited about this thing. Definitely my new daily. Now the question is, what do I do if I keep that Expedition? The Expedition does have a third row seat and the wife does want a lot of kids. So I think that we still might be doing the Thunder and have a little bit of both. This thing is so clean. Fuel up, and now we're off to Craig. Oh, yeah, that's how we do it. I love that. All right, guys, so we're here. All right, uh, do you have a name for your compound? It's the uh, No Spark Compound. It's the No Spark Compound. We're here in where? Uh, Stillman Valley, Illinois. And uh, that's Craig, if you don't know. What's up, guys? So we're both actually gonna pretty much go take this thing for a rip. <laughs> and then we're gonna show you guys his whole collection. Probably in the daylight, cause yeah. it's getting dark. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be better when everybody else gets here. Yeah, so we're gonna quickly unload this before it gets too dark. So here we go.
truck and uh, I'm gonna take it for a spin. So just figured we should get on video documentation. Today, May whatever, 2023, it has 70,170 miles. Let's see how many we can rack up. <laughs> All right, so Craig, where are we at? Uh, we're at Wheezy's in downtown Byron, Illinois. So how would you say the first ride was? We went, it what, like nice. five, five miles-ish? For 98, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. There's no creaks, squeaks, nothing like that. Could definitely use a tune-up. But uh, besides that, it runs really well. I was honestly surprised how good it was. She's crispy. It's all locked up. Oh, yeah. It's a rough neighborhood. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> did our first fuel up. It was half full, so topped her off. And uh, we'll go get some snacks. Okay, so where where are we? We've never been to Casey's before. Sell me on this place, dude. Six me seconds. Sell me on this place. They've got spicy garlic chicken in a bag. Like, you just come here, you can get ice cream, you can get burritos, <laughs> you can get pizza. If you want some chocolate milk, you can have chocolate milk. They got dude, little kids. They got banana strawberry. Yes. Body armor. I mean, it's just everything. What do they got if you need to fix your car, though? Let's well, say you broke down and you figured out a way to walk here. Come on, let's go. It's over here. Everything you need. If your, if your diesel fuel's gelling up, they got you. Here, there, everywhere. Carbon fuel cleaner. Carbon fuel cleaner. Starting fluid. If it doesn't start, just squirt it with ether. Patch your tires. You can make it smell good. I mean, you can cook on the side of the road. Casey's has got it all. If you have a headache... Remedies all over. You broke down and you want to, you know, get jiggy, they've got protection for it. Ridiculous. Chips, everything. Silent, get one. got back and uh here's a little sneak peek of the no spark garage and uh i'm super tired but celine is awesome tomorrow i'm gonna be uh taking it out i'm gonna be driving to wisconsin it's like a three hour drive each way so full uh driving experience i'm excited for that so stay tuned if you're not subscribed subscribe drop a comment below let me know what you think and uh we'll see you in the next video